119 machine. You can see Tim earning the badger. Who needs more power on the Mini Twin? I do. We felt he let himself down. He let me down. He just let a lot of people down. We were disappointed. It was a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I'm surprised he's been allowed back, to be honest. So what are you doing, Andy? Talking about... Diary, 21st of September 24. Uh, it's dyno day. Uh, so I've got the uh, yellow bike here, the Mini Twin, uh, with my friend Andy. We're at this chap's SPR racing dyno jet. Um, so I'm just going to put it on and see what my bike's making with the, this is the one that I swapped the inject, the, in, the intake cam from an injection bike onto it. It's meant to give it a bit, a bit more power. So if we've got into the 70s, I'll be happy, but I just want to see whether there's any adjustments I should make to the carbs. Um, mate's also here looking at uh, whether his is putting out 72 or more um, for Mini Twin class because uh, last time I was here his throttle bodies weren't opening fully but first I've got to have to sort out what's going on here to get it out because it's fallen off the stand it's been rocking around the back of the van all the way here anyway I'll pro hopefully I'll set up the set up the camera so we can record doing the dyno Maggie shed out Doing Andy? Fucking about. His bike's got 74 horsepower, but it's lean, too lean. So he's trying to uh, richen it off a bit using the throttle position sensor, I think. is it's uh, got plenty of power but it's very lean so um, the, this bike is I can just change the jets so uh, put some bigger jets in main jets in and then probably come back next year sometime get them to check it again make a shit out so round up after the dyno session uh, as I said earlier um, the speeds uh, sorry the power is pretty good I think this dyno must be a bit optimistic because it's What's it's here? 74.2. I'll put the graph up on the screen. 74.2 horsepower. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't get the revs, the RPM working properly. The set the sensor on the on the uh, coil. So um, I've only got it in speed, but it does show it's ridiculously lean. So uh, thoughts on that? Um, I have got a bigger exhaust on, so um, I could, and I've got the standard jets in the carb, so I can go um, put larger jets in the carb, see if we can get that around where where it should be. Which, you know, should be about 14 really. Um, so that's air fuel ratio, the amount of air versus fuel should be 8, 14 to 1. Um, uh, the other thing the guy said, he's been a racer himself for a lot of years, retired now. Um, he said, oh, uh, you could do with upgrading the fuel pump because it's a vacuum operated one. He says, oh, if you get an electric fuel pump, um, you know, sometimes you can run the fuel out of, of the, the float bowl chambers too quickly and uh, it can get lean that way. Um, and also, um, I have the original, it could be an air leak. Um, I haven't tested on the yellow bike, uh, so I might give that a test, spray something around the intake boots, but I might uh, replace the intake boots as well just to eliminate any air leaks there. Uh, but definitely going to go bigger on the jet sizes on the carb, um, so I will be back there again, but this is a baseline. Nice to know it's got good power, but um, yeah, way too lean. Uh, if you have anyone got any experience or thoughts on that, uh, let me know in the comments. Make a shout out.